Howdy folks, this is your introductory video to workshop four. You are now officially halfway through the ATC FDA workshop. Again, my name is Julia Slaughter and I'll be introducing you to workshop four, where you'll get to analyze the without project conditions plan. Now recall that in ATC FDA, the without project condition is a hardwired plan and it is automatically created when a new study is created. Again, it is always listed first and cannot be deleted. The without project condition is a plan which all subsequent plans are compared against. Let's discuss workshop four. In this workshop, you will add future data to an existing ATC FDA study. The existing study has already been configured for you for the without project base year. In other words, you get to start off with a complete base year and just need to add all future conditions with the goal of interpreting the expected annual damage, or EAD, the equivalent annual damage, and the performance of the project results for without project plan for two analysis years, the base year and the most likely future year. In workshop four, you will analyze the without project plan for the base year and the most likely future year. These are the two snapshots in time. The most likely future year is required in this case because the local planning agency of Beargrass Creek has made a 25-year growth projection of development. Therefore, the most likely future year is required so that you can stratify the new structures that won't be available to be damaged until 2043. Due to the projected growth development, two analysis years are required the base year and the most likely future year. In workshop four, the base year conditions have been completed for you. In other words, the base year data has been imported and the big three relationships have been defined. If you're asking yourself now, what are the big three relationships? Then I encourage you to take a note. In workshop two, I explained that the eight imported water surface profiles were used to complete the three big relationships. The first one is the exceedance probability, also known as the discharge probability or frequency curve. The second is the stage discharge or rating curve. And the third is the structure stage damage. In workshop two, you generated the first two relationships for the base year. And in workshop three, you generated the third. In this workshop or workshop four, it is your goal to complete the big three relationships for the most likely future year. Here's a quick list of the new data that you will be importing in workshop four. You will import the water surface profiles for the most likely future year. And make sure that you select the most likely future year when you assign your water surface profile so you don't overwrite the base year. Once you import your eight water surface profiles, you need to create the exceedance probability function when you generate the exceedance probability functions, make sure that you are generating it from the proper water surface profile and for the correct future year. Otherwise, you can overwrite the base data. Once you do that, move on to the stage discharge functions, and you'll generate that from the water surface profiles as well. This may sound like a broken record, but make sure you have the most likely future year selected. Once you complete those first two big relationships, you will add the structures for the most likely future year. Prior to importing the structure inventory, you will need to create structure modules. The structure modules are a way to group structures, and in workshop four, the new structure module we will build will be for the future structures. Let's take a quick look at how you create a structure module in HEC FDA. From the Economics menu, click Structure Modules, and you will need to create a new record. After you create the future structure module, you will need to import your structure inventory. After you import your structure inventory for the future structures, Go into the structure inventory data and update the year in service to 2043. 
After you update the urine service, you will need to complete the structure module assignment. From the structure module assignment, you will need to select the most likely future year. You will also need to select both the base and future structural module name and save that selection. There are a few things I want you to remember when you're computing the stage damage functions. The first thing you need to remember is that you need to change the compute options and include 500 Monte Carlo simulations. Then, for the without project plan, you will need to select both the base year and the most likely future year to compute. After you compute the stage damage function, it's a good idea to check the study status report to check for the big three relationship. Now that you've checked the study status report and confirmed that you're ready to compute the EAD, select the without project plan for both the base year and the most likely future year and compute. Then you just need to wait until the compute is complete so you can move on to the equivalent annual damage. In order to compute the equivalent annual damage, you will need to look up Economic Guidance Memorandum 21-01 and look up the current discount rate for FY 2021. Now that you have the discount rate, you can compute the equivalent annual damage. Go to the equivalent annual damage, change the discount rate. Select the Without Project Plan and Compute. Now you're ready for the fun stuff, to review the results and answer the questions. Well, everything's fun, isn't it? Thank you for watching the introductory video to Workshop 4. If you have any questions, please place them in the Google Classroom chat box or ask your questions in a synchronous workshop or review session. There's also a FDA discourse category for you to post questions.